Ohmic heating. We need to understand Ohm's law before explaining Ohmic heating of foods. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law states that the current flowing through a conductor or resistor is directly proportional to the applied voltage that is I equal to V by R, where I is the current amps or A, V is the voltage volt or V and R is the resistance ohm. In addition, R that is resistance is inversely proportional to I that is current. Consider an electric circuit with a resistor of resistance R. We apply a voltage of V and this can cause a flow of current I. This can generate heat by the dissipation of electrical energy due to the electrical resistance. The same principle is used in ohmic heating of foods. We can visualize this in the next slide. Ohmic heating is a process when alternating electric current is passed through a food material and then heat is internally generated within the material due to its resistance to applied electric current. Food is placed in a cylindrical tube uh, which has two electrodes at the end and we complete the electric circuit with a power supply connected to the electrodes. Then we apply a voltage causing flow of current through the food and this can generate heat uniformly within the food matrix. Therefore, in this system we have applied the principle of ohmic heating of food. In the next slide, we can calculate how much heat could be generated within the food. We can go through a simple calculation. We have a battery of 30 volt. We connect a 1500 ohm resistor across it. How much heat can be generated and how can we find the temperature rise in the resistor? We can write the equation of heat generation as Q equal to I square R equal to V square by R, where Q is the heat flow in Watt, Watt is equal to amps time volt and Watt is equal to joules per second. Energy Watt is important to understand when we need to calculate the heat generated by ohmic heating. Calculation gives us 0.6 Watt heat was generated in the resistor which is 0.6 joules per second. Temperature rise. We know heat required to rise a specific temperature without phase change as Q equal to MCP del T. We can write temperature rise in the resistor as del T equal to Q by MCP. If resistor mass is 5 gram, and a specific heat of the resistor is 0.442 joules per gram per degree C, then we can calculate the temperature rise as del T equal to 0.6 watt divided by 5 gram times 0.442 joules per gram per degree C, which is equal to 0.6 joules per second divided by 5 gram times 0.442 joules per gram per degree C, which is equal to 0.27 degree C. Therefore, temperature rise in the resistor would be 0.27 degree C by the applied 30 volts. In the case of only liquid phase with uniform resistance, heat generation should be uniform inside the liquid phase. If solid particles with different thermal resistance are present in the liquid phase, then non-uniform heat can be generated. In this diagram, the low heat generation would be in front and back side of the particle and high heat generation on the sides of the particles. This could be represented by an electric circuit. RL is the resistance of the liquid phase, RF and RB are the resistance of the liquid in front and back of the particles respectively. And RS is the resistance of the solid particles. 
R e can be considered in series uh, which is equal to 1 by 1 by R f plus 1 by R s plus 1 by R b. R e will be greater than R l. Total current can be divided into two parts I 1 through the liquid phase and I 2 could be through the particle and liquid phase front and back of the particles. The current I would be high due to only one resistor while I2 would be low since three resistors are in series that is I1 is greater than I2. We know Q equal to I square R therefore high current flow through the liquid phase with low resistance can cause more heat generation in the liquid phase. The low heat generation locations are shown in the diagram. Resistance is much more readily used in electrical engineering than conductance and it is a from a practical standpoint. Conductance versus conductivity. The conductance of a conductor is the measure of how easily material of a conductor allows the flow of current through it. Whereas conductivity is the property of a material by which material offers easy in the flow of current. Resistance reduces or impedes current flow while conductance allows current to pass through. Conductance is denoted by Greek letter sigma and it is measured in Siemens. Conductance is inverse related to the resistance as sigma equal to 1 by R. Therefore, the unit of conductance is moho that is ohm inverse. However, in practical we can we commonly use Siemens as the unit of conductance where 1 moho is equal to 1 Siemens. Conductance is related to conductivity but it takes into account the physical dimensions of the material. Conductance is directly proportional to the cross-sectional area of a material and inversely proportional to its length that is sigma equal to 1 by R times L by A where L is the length meter and A is the cross-sectional area meter square. This means that a material with a large cross-sectional area and a shorter length will have a higher conductance than a material with a smaller cross-sectional area and a longer length even if they have the same conductivity. In this case the unit of conductance is Siemens per meter that is S by M. Each generation calculation we can take an example. Orange juice is heated in an ohmic heating tube with an applied voltage of 20 volts per centimeter. Calculate the amount of heat generated if electrical conductance of orange juice is 1.964 Siemens per meter. Heat generation inside the ohmic tube can be calculated as Q equal to sigma V square which is equal to 1.964 Siemens per meter times 20 volt per centimeter times 100 centimeter per meter uh, square which is equal to 7.856 megawatt per meter cube. Therefore, 7.856 megawatt per meter cube heat is generated inside the ohmic heating tube. It is given per unit volume. Calculation of temperature rise. We can take an example. In the earlier problem, we know how much heat is generated inside the tube. Now we want to calculate what would be the temperature rise in the orange juice inside the ohmic heating tube of diameter 30 centimeter and length of 4.5 meter. The specific heat of orange juice is given 3.89 kilojoules per kg per degree C and density of the orange juice is 1050 kg per meter cube. We can calculate the temperature rise delta equal to Q by MCP which is equal to Q by rho CP 
which is equal to 7856000 watt per meter cube divided by 1050 kilogram per meter cube times 3.89 kilojoules per kg per degree C. And after calculations, we can find the temperature rise equal to 1.92 degree C per minute. If heat is given as total heat Qt not in per meter cube supplied by the power source that is what then del T equal to Qt by rho Vt Cp where Qt is the total heat in watt and Vt is the volume of the tube. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end and supporting my channel.